Hey, Karen, we used to have great team huddles when we were together. They were very organic. People came. We talked about strategic initiatives. We got ready for our week. And people felt they could ask what was on their hearts and minds. Sometimes a few people would stay behind. Afterwards, we'd have these really meaningful one-on-ones. It is so much harder to do this well in a virtual environment. I bring people together on Zoom and for some reason, first of all, I can't even get half the people to turn their cameras on and they are so quick. Does anybody have anything? No. And then we go. What can I do to reclaim the importance and the meaning of our weekly team huddles? Asking for a friend. Hi, I'm Karen Hurt, and I'm here with our next edition of Asking for a Friend. And so let's talk about huddles. You know, it's interesting. One of the things that when I see huddles not go so well is that the leader is not beginning with a specific intention. So, and that's harder in a virtual environment if you don't have that because people are less likely to engage organically. So what do I mean by intention? If you were a basketball coach, you would not blow the whistle, gather everybody together and say, okay, the clock is ticking, but does anybody have anything? Everybody good? I mean, you may ask that question, but you are going to be prepared with an intention for that huddle to communicate, to listen, to do something specific when the buzzer goes off and everybody's back on that court. So what is your specific intention for this week's huddle? And it doesn't always have to be the same. It could be that there is a new strategic initiative that's rolling out and you want to use this huddle as a check for understanding to make sure that people really understand it and that they understand the impact for their specific work. It could be that you're one week going to use your team huddle to really connect at a human level, to draw people together, to get them to know one another just a little bit more, and you're gonna have a prepared way to do that. Could be that you've got a issue where you really need a great idea, and you're going to use that huddle to cultivate curiosity and ask about that. Certainly, you want to create space in a huddle to say, how are people feeling about that week? Are they prepared? Do they have any questions? But if that organic way does not work, be prepared with your specific intention. I am going to share uh, a tool that is from uh, our leadership training program that is the Team Huddle Planner. And you can take that and use that, and it will ask you, what is your intention? What is the focus areas? And then what are some provocative questions that you're prepared to ask to engage? And then the other thing I would say is you try this, but also ask your team a courageous question. What is one way we could make our team huddles more effective? And really ask for them and, and help encourage them to help you create a better huddle. And you can also use, uh, make sure you're mixing methodologies, right? So you can ask a provocative question in the chat, get people engaged that way. You can um, set an expectation that you are going to turn the cameras on for the huddle. You could uh, rotate who is leading the huddle so people take turns with leadership. Lots of possibilities, but it really starts with do you have an intention and do you have a deliberate way of creating that engagement? Again, I will put a link to this tool. Feel free to use it. Feel free to share with your teams. And then I would ask you, what would you add? What are some of your very best practices for holding a great team huddle, whether it's in person or virtual? See you next time on Asking for a Friend.